Fantasy is a well-known genre that doesn't need an introduction. Any person of any age and gender can be sucked into fantasy. With intriguing plotlines, mysterious characters and fantastical settings, add the overpowered main characters and you get the perfect list of manuals to read. Now let's wait no more and start our list of fantasy manua with OPMC. Starting with number 10, Trinity Wonder. What happens when the greatest martial artist of the Murim world meets a genius magician from a fantasy world? Well, you got Trinity Wonder, an absolute delight in a world of online publishing where so much trash comes through. Besides, its writer is the same as the breakup, that is alone enough to get your attention. The story is an excellent blend of action, a few touches of intrigue, drama and romance, and just enough comedy to grant a chuckle but not great immersion. It's about an overpowered martial artist and a magician ending up in the regular world because of portals. The only time I stopped reading this was because of my eyelids were falling off. In the ninth spot, Black Haze. The story centers on a young man named Wood Grishi, known widely as the Black Magician. He is sent to a famous school of sorcery to protect Deus Varus, the son of Duke Diner Ashen, as well as to figure out why everyone calls his son a monster. While undercover, Wood also discovers this more occurring at the school than it appears. Why are we recommending Black Haze as a fantasy manual? Well, after a few pages, it really catches your attention. Just look at this magical world. If you are into classic epic fantasies, but wouldn't mind a twist, Black Haze has what you're looking for. Plus, it is long. Next at number 8, I'm the Sorcerer King. As the story goes, for the past 10 years, Earth has been under attack from a monster horde that appeared out of a rift formed through time and space. Ever since the event, People have started to awaken supernatural RPG-like powers and began to hunt the monsters for the money. Lee sang who need of money, he so takes on dangerous job as a beta who lures monsters for his hunting party to kill. One day, sang Hoon is sadly attacked by a monster that results in his death, but during that moment, he remembers his past life as the Sorcerer King. Sang Hu's dying moment causes him to an activation of an incarnation, resulting in his injuries healing and him gaining all of Karatera's memories. This includes awakening his powers as a great sorcerer. From here on, Sang Hoon begins his overpowered magic show. First of all, I understand why people are saying that it is similar to Solo Leveling, and in many ways, it is. However, as a little fact here, this manual was released before Solo Leveling, and overall, it's incredibly entertaining. The characters are much more likable. The OPMC is incredibly smart and experienced, and the corporations are incredibly smart as well. Be with its art and story just for the couple first chapters, and you'll find it definitely worth reading. On the seventh spot, The Descent of the Demonic Master. After the protagonist, Gan Jin Hu, loses his family and lacks in an accident, he takes his own life and is reincarnated then, after he is betrayed by the person he trusts the most, he dies and is reincarnated again. After finally being reincarnated for the third time, his only wish is to live a normal life. But when he realizes that he is only familiar with a no normal life, he needs to figure out what he can do to live normally as a person in the modern world. So, let me say it in other way. This guy literally got Isekai twice. First life, he was weak and died pretty shitty. In the second life, he was an overpowered demonic master in the world, but still died pretty shitty. Now in the third life that he experienced both lives, Hopefully, he doesn't die shitty. That is to say, this isn't your typical manua where the OPMC battles new enemies and venture off to save the world. He's just trying to live a normal life with superpowers. So, it's incredibly entertaining. The art is pleasant and it's easy to read. And overall, a funny manua. Fun fights, quite likable MC, so it has a lot of potential. Definitely, you should try it. At number 6, Yoon Lok Hyun. 
Due to circumstances, Yoon has always dressed as a boy learning martial and spiritual arts. Also, due to some circumstances, she ends up meeting with the Emperor and he promises to save her father's life in exchange for her lifelong services. So, the elephant in this room is, how long can she continue this life without the others finding out that she's actually a woman? Well, first, don't worry, because our girl is literally in a male body. And in order to hide her identity, she learned how to shapeshift her face and body to be a male's body. So, it's not surprising no one thinks of her as a girl, cause why she still has some delicate features in a male body, she is legit just a pretty boy. Think about it, if she transformed it to be bulky, we'd probably be turned off anyways. Just joking, or maybe not. But overall, this manhwa has a good character development, romance, and an interesting and captivating storyline. Also, you must love the historical martial arts vibe and awesome art, you should really read it. On the fifth spot, Volcanic Age. Ju Siu Chion, a man who survived the Age of War through sheer luck, becomes Hwasan Faction's elder only to live a life full of regrets and doubts. He then lies on his deathbed, waiting for the inevitable when he is returned to the past. This is a story of a man who died as a normal soldier in his past life without doing anything remarkable, but now sent back to the past. He'll do whatever he can to get stronger and protect those around him. Regardless of how strong he becomes, I love that he's still humble and stays strong to his beliefs. The protagonist is very low-key character and plots and plans executed very properly. The art of this manual is also very nice. It's a reasonable story with a lot of action, adventure, fantasy, very mature main character as well as good female characters. It's definitely a must-read manual. At number 4, Unholy Blood. When vampires destroy her chance to have the normal life she's always wanted, Haiyan is forced to draw on her darkest secret to rid the world of the merciless hunters that took it over 10 years ago. With the support of a rising star in the local police force, Haiyan steps up to protect her loved ones, face her past, and get her revenge. So, this is a story for main character who is a pure blood vampire and they're all rare. She plans on taking out all the vampires due to revenge and anger. The art is amazing. The characters are fine. If you're here for an overpowered main character, then you must read this one. At number 3, Legend of the Northern Blade. After the sun disappeared from the world, martial artists from around the world formed the Northern Heavily Sect. However, after a rebellion against the group occurs after the death of the sect leader Jin Kwan Hu, his son is the only one who knows of the sacred techniques his father taught him. It's now up to Jin Mo Woon to restore the Northern Heavily Sect and spread the world about martial arts. This is definitely a manual to read. The story is realistic, conserving the magical part linked with the cultivation world. The revenge story is the leading theme without crushing the subplot. The art is original and almost perfectly mastered. Moreover, it perfectly fits with the story. Finally, the characters are human-like thanks to the way the author creates relationships make them evolve. On the second spot, Second Life Ranker. The manhwa chronicles the story of Yi Eun Woo, a man who is searching for his twin brother, Ji Eun Woo Cha, who disappeared five years ago and the only hint being a pocket watch. When he stumbles upon his brother's diary and discovers he was betrayed in an alternate universe, he decides to take Ji Eun Woo Cha's place, uncover the mystery behind his betrayal, and take his revenge on whoever killed his twin brother. This manhwa is incomparable to anything else. The story is unique and you won't get bored at any point. The art is pretty good and the characters are amazing. If you're here for the OPMC manual, there is no way you miss this one. Now with the first spot on the list, and what story can fit here better than solely leveling? This manual became known to the much that any similar story is basically a ripoff, even if it was published before it. How crazy! This manual takes place in a land where magic has become the norm. Regular people are now superhumans who combat monsters and earn money for their victories. Sang Jin Wu is one such hunter, but is extremely weak as a fighter. One day, Sang Jin Wu is asked to complete an impossible training program or face dire consequences. Initially hesitant, the young boy now chooses to look at this as an opportunity that can help him become the strongest hunter in the world. If you're not reading this one yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go read it now, but before you do, click that subscription button and hit the notification bell to get the latest videos. Give this one a thumbs up and your opinion in comments. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.